taking accounting for SS1. This particular subject is based on curriculum recommended by Nigerian Educational Research and Development Council, NERDC, under the Federal Ministry of Education. Now, what are the key importance of bookkeeping and accounting? Number one, for profitability purpose, accounting records are kept to evaluate the performance and the profitability of the business organization. Number two, for decision making. In the aspect of decision making, accounting is important in the sense that it makes qualitative decisions on the finances of the organization. Number three, prevention of frauds. The record acts as a check against any fraudulent activity on the side of the employee or on the side of the management as a whole. Number four, to monitor the progress of the enterprises. The records help to determine and monitor the progress of the business. Number five, ascertainment of assets and liabilities. It helps to ascertain the resources asset and indebtedness which is liability of the business. E.g., we have plants and machineries, we have our stocks, we have debtors, we have creditors, we have cash, and so on. And number six, it provides permanent records of all transactions of the organization. Cause one can do with financial accounting in higher institution of learning. Number one, we have accountancy or accounting and finance. Number two, we have banking and finance. Number three, we have business administration. We have uh, economics, we have public administration and uh, insurance. Then what are the reasons for study and accounting? The first one is, we study in accounting because it has excellent graduate prospects. That means most of the students globally are excellent in various occupations that they find themselves. And globally students of accounting stand a, chance, a, stand a decent chance of being professionally employed within six months of leaving the higher institution. The number two is we have a graduate scheme. Studying accounting, there is a good chance you will find yourself working with a financial service firm or an established company. Number three, the world needs accountants. As long as money makes it go round, the world will need each accountant. Number three, you could work in any industry if you're studying accounting in the sense that you can apply to any company in any field, industry, sector. You can be working across a number of industries. The number five is that uh, people studying accounting can apply, apply, apply it in the real life sense. That means real life application. That means student benefits from simulated and real life opportunities to manage business account of an organization. Likewise, we have joint honors. Accounting complements other subject area very well, particularly those which fall under the umbrella of business. An accountant can work in accounting department in any sector or industry which includes number one hospitals both government and private hospital that means an accounting department is set up in must be set up in an hospital so accountants are needed in that kind of sector uh, likewise in the in any companies 
accountant can work in any department of any company. And likewise, you have uh, an institution like a university and the uh, polytechnics. Every institution of learning, like investment and protection, has set as a kind of depart accounting department which the service of accountants are needed. Then we have for government com companies, like any government or enterprises that uh, is established by the government, like uh, we have a ministry, we have uh, agencies, and uh, we have uh, corporations, uh, government corporations like water, water corporations and any other agencies, and so on. Then number two, we are accountants can work. The people studying accounting, they can work as a cons they, they can do a consultancy services, which include audit and assurance services. And the, when we are talking about audit and assurance services, it is the help of an auditor. An accountant is also an auditor in which they examine and in in investigate the account that was prepared by an, an accountant to to form an opinion based on that preparation, whether it conform or comply with the accounting procedure concept and the convention. Then, on that, consult that consultants and services which accountants can render, we have tax consultants, that means they can be a tax advisor to the company. Then, number three, we have a financial advisor. Accountants can also serve as financial advisors in terms of sourcing loans for any company using their cash flow statement. So they can, they can help company, they, they can guide them the way of financing a project and where they can source for that uh, uh, money if the company has to embark on a project, a huge project which requires a huge amount of money. Then accountant uh, uh, is, is, uh, goes beyond development of accounting system for companies. There, there are the company that they are established, the accountant can develop a kind of accounting system in method in way that the company will work. We keep uh, records in an appropriate book so that the account it can ease the accountant in preparing that uh, statement. Number, number three. We have a lecturing services in our institution of learning, both polytechnic and our institution. A person studying an accounting can be a lecturer, can render lecturing services in subjects like, like a government accounting, financial accounting, cost accounting, management accounting, and the likes. Then, people studying accounting in our institution can always work as, also work as an auditor. Auditor, and what are the work of auditor? They investigate the financial system whether and form opinion whether whether it complies with the accounting procedure. And we have a we can auditor can be an internal auditor or external auditor. Number five, an accountant can work in any company or any industry of any globally and any other thing. Then we have a financial you can also work in financial institutions such as insurance company, uh, banks, and many other institutions. List of things and topics I will be taking for SS1. Team 1, introduction and historical development of bookkeeping and accounting. The topics under it is uh, bookkeeping and accounting. And the second one is ethics of accounting. Now, the second thing is a principle and concept of accounting. Under these things, we have a topic like principles and practice of documentary, accounting concepts. Then number three, topics. We have things, we have uh, journals and cash accounts. Under it, we have uh, general journals, analytical, high book, bank, reconciliation, statement. Then number four, Things. We have a classes of accounting and a final, final account of sole trader, proprietor. Under it, we have a classifications of account, we have trial balance, corrections of errors, we have a trading account, we have profit, loss account, we have adjustment in profit 
and loss account, we have balance sheet and uh, balance sheet uh, control. Then the last topic is a uh, control account, which under this control account we have a uh, six ledger control account, which can also be called to that debtor control account. And under it also we have a uh, purchases uh, ledger control account which can also be called total creditor control account. And I'll be starting with uh, topic one, team one, which is uh, introduction and historical development of bookkeeping and accounting. First and foremost, what is bookkeeping and accounting? Bookkeeping is an art of recording and classifying financial statements in a systematic way, entering them in an appropriate book of account in order to show financial position of business. It is also an art of keeping records using double entry principles. What is accounting? Accounting can be defined as collecting, recording, Classifying, summarizing.